What we're looking at right now is an area where the St. Mary's uh, meets the St. Joseph and becomes the Mami. And we're walking this way because we're coming up to the circle of statues of the Hamilton women. Hamilton women were ladies who were really important in the history of the city, uh, but also uh, people who had regional and national import. And it just gets a, a view of some of the color, the open fields, uh, downtown. Certainly one of the prettiest floodplains I've ever seen. And so let's see what we've got here. Uh, Ermine Jane Holman Hamilton, 1810 to 1889, pioneer. And uh, she encouraged local efforts to form First Presbyterian Church, establish a public library, support a national women's suffrage uh, movement, and donate land for Fort Wayne's first African-American church. And here are the three Hamilton ladies. And we will talk about each one of them. Okay, it's the plaque reads, these are the Hamilton women of Fort Wayne. Edith Seedit, there she is. Scholar of Greek and Roman mythology, wrote the classic text, The Greek Way. Alice, standing. Edith's sister, influential industrial physician, advanced the reform of unsafe working conditions in our nation's fa uh, factories. And then Agnes, very nice statue, uh, with young child, their cousin, accomplished painter and child advocate, worked in settlement houses and founded Fort Wayne's YWCA. The Hamilton women have made lasting contributions to the well-being of citizens on both local and national levels, Fort Wayne is proud of them. And that is true. People talk about them often. The question was where would they put these statues? Where would they honor them? Would it be the courtyard? Would it be here? And I think on the shores of the rivers in a city that's known as the City of Three Rivers, this is a great setting. Take care.